It's the most powerful show on television. High drama with intense energy. A show dedicated to a few brave souls who risk their lives for the sake of their craft. Its in-depth reporting goes to the core and unlocks the mysteries behind today's raciest sport. Motorsports, catch it when you can. Speed Station welcomes you back to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the All-Star Race. And for a quick breakdown of the All-Star Race, there are three segments to today's event. Segment 1 ends on lap 23, and segment 2 ends on lap 46. Now this is a 60-lap race, once again setting up that 10-lap dash to the finish, as we saw yesterday in the Open. And the purse for the winner, just for the winner, is $1 million. Not to mention, this race cannot end under caution, just like yesterday's event. Kevin Harvick wins the pole for the All-Star Race above two drivers who transferred through the Open, those being Chris Buescher and Kurt Busch. Mark Truex Jr. qualifies fourth, Kyle Busch in fifth, Christopher Bell in sixth, Daniel Suarez in seventh, Lint Boyer in eighth, Ryan Blaney in ninth, and Ross Chastain round out the top ten. Gentlemen, start your We are green at Charlotte. Kurt Busch already trying to go three wide off into turn one for the lead. He makes it stick as the 17 and 19 cars get shuffled up onto the top side. Kyle Busch now thinking about making a move three wide for the lead. And Kyle Busch will take the lead as they head off into turn three. Several cars getting uh, stacked up in the middle of the field as he almost went four wide with a 55 and 21 in the middle. And the defending All-Star Race winner, Kyle Busch, will lead lap one. Oh, Clint Boyer and Daniel Suarez touched wheel to wheel right there as they entered turn one. Boyer taking up second. Ryan Blaney now on the inside of Suarez. He will move up into third position with Suarez falling back many spots on the outside line. Martin Truex Jr. has already fallen all the way out to sixth position. But what a move on the start by Kurt Busch going three wide down on the bottom. But now he's fallen almost outside the top ten. Whoa, the 99 car just got turned by Kevin Harvick. Not turned around, but just turned sideways as they exited turn two. But Briscoe still clears Harvick as they enter turn number three. That's actually the regular season points battlers right now. A little bit of contact between the 10 and 12. That's the battle for third spot. Martin Truex Jr. now trying to get up under Almirola for fourth position. Truex had to fall back in line, but the 10 car will take up third off Blaney. Kyle Busch starting to put a bit of a separation between second spot Clint Boyer and himself. The gap is now almost out to three tenths of a second as the 10 car makes a look onto the inside of his teammate Clint Boyer for second. And here comes Almirola with the run into turn one and will now take up second position off Clint Boyer. Martin Truex Jr. following suit to move up into third spot. Logano will take up fourth as the 14 still up on the top. He will fall to sixth with Blaney moving up into fifth. Martin Truex Jr. has climbed his way back up into third position. He's looks and looking on the inside of the 10. Truex will try to take second as they exit turn two. They're going to be running side by side down the back straight. But Amarola really drove it into turn number three and actually powers past Martin Truex Jr. up on the high side. Joey Logano making a look on the inside of Martin Truex Jr. That will move Logano up into third position. Logano takes third, Blaney into fourth. Truex still stuck up on the high side with the 10 car right on the back bumper of race leader Kyle Busch. Right now, definitely not the first impression Quinn Half wanted on Chip Ganassi as he currently runs all the way out in 21st spot, which is last position in the 42 car. Now we have almost five cars under a blanket in the battle for the lead. Amarola still riding the back bumper of the 18 down the back straightaway. They were locking bumpers. That's obviously not illegal, but still not exactly recommended. Oh, Amarola just got moved up off the bottom by Logano with Logano taking up second spot. He's already got a run coming on the 18 down the back straight. 
Now these two are definitely bump drafting down the back straight away as Martin Truex Jr. tries going three wide. Makes a little bit of contact between himself and the 12, but still remains in fourth. Logano tried pulling down to the bottom, but that only slowed down his momentum. Now he's got his teammate Ryan Blaney coming on his outside as Martin Truex Jr. takes up third. Still Kyle Busch defending that lead. Truex taking a look on the inside of Logano. And finally Truex moves his way back up into second with a JGR 1-2. Truex with a move on the inside of Kyle Busch. He will retake the lead as they enter turn one. So right now Truex back out front, Kyle Busch in second. Eric Amarola in third as the 22 and 17 cars battle for fourth with Busher taking the spot. Eric Amarola on the inside of Kyle Busch. Amarola will take up second. Amarola already starting to build a very good run on Martin Truex Jr. He cut down the gap from almost half a second down to a tenth and he takes a look on the inside. Forces the 19 up off the bottom and Eric Amarola is your leader. Truex is able to cut down in front of his teammate Kyle Busch and retain second spot. Whoa, the 10 and 19 almost made contact, but Truex rightfully backed off the throttle as the 17 car and 22 still battle side by side for fourth position. And Kevin Harvick finally starting to creep his way back up towards the top five. Truex taking a look on the inside of Amarola. Amarola still carrying that high side momentum. Truex trying to side draft him. As they run down the back straight, looks like Truex is going to take the lead as they head off into turn three with Joey Logano taking up third spot off Kyle Busch. Chris Busher's just taking third off Logano now off into turn one. Kevin Harvick thinking about going three wide but decided to side with Kyle Busch. Whoa, 95 car almost just got turned around by Daniel Suarez actually made contact with the inside retaining wall down the back straight. Here comes a move by Amarola on the inside of the 19. Air Camarola starting to inch ahead. And Amarola will take the lead back. It looks like Chris Buescher trying to take second off the 19. He's got the spot, but he already has a run coming on the 10. He was side by side with leader Amarola at the start finish line, but Eric might be able to cut down in front of him. No, Buescher dives in and Chris Buescher is now your leader. That's a really good performance this weekend for uh, Roush Racing. They've been really showing a whole lot of speed with the 17 as the 19 comes back on the inside of the 10. Just three laps to go in segment one. Your top five is Busher, Truex, Amarola, Logano trying to take fourth off of Kyle Busch. Logano's got the spot. Busch will fall down into fifth. And speaking of Bushes, your open winner, Kurt Busch, has already fallen down to ninth spot. A lot of contact between the 10 and 19 actually moved Truex to the top side, and now Joey Logano sneaks by for second. Quite the separation opened out between first and second, those being Busher and Logano, as Kyle Busch will move up into third as they enter turn one. Full sitter Kevin Harvick will now move up back into fourth position as he just got around his teammate Almarola. And at the start finish line, that's the white flag for Chris Buescher in segment one. Kyle Busch with a run on the inside of Logano. Busch will easily take away second position. And for a bit of an upset, Chris Buescher will win segment one of the All-Star Race. Above Kyle Busch in second, Joey Logano in third, Kevin Harvick in fourth, and Daniel Suarez in fifth. The 21 team of Matt Benedetto think that they have dropped a cylinder early in the race. The car is still running, but well under power. And let's take a better look at the incident between Christopher Bell and Daniel Suarez. Coming off turn two on lap 18, Suarez clips him, sends him into the inside wall with quite a bit of damage on that left side. NASCAR on Speed Station is being brought to you by Built By Me Chassis and Engine Parts by Smeethy, the real canned meat paste, and by Starting Park, the official motel brand of NASCAR. And the first car off pit road was Chris Buescher above Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Eric Amarola, and Kevin Harvick. I don't know what's going on between Suarez and Bell, 
but Suarez actually rams Bell coming out of his stall. It looks like we got a one-sided feud forming. By the way, on pit road, Chip Ganassi Racing actually got Quinn Hoff several spots coming out of his stall. He actually went from 21st position to 14th. It's a really good stop for the 42 team. And there's the green flag for segment two. Kyle Busch already getting a very good restart on the 17, trying to figure out a way around. They almost bump draft as they enter turn one as Joey Logano forces the 18 up off the bottom to take second. Amarola following suit with a shove to the 22, taking up third. They almost went three wide for the lead down the back straight. They file back down to two wide for second position with the 10 car trying to take the spot, and he will with his teammate Kevin Harvick right on the back bumper. They have a run coming on Busher. At the stripe, it was too close to call with Almirola leading that lap. Almirola will definitely take the lead as they head off into turn one. Harvick trying to push him up off the bottom. He could not do so as Almirola will retain the lead above Harvick Truex, who's driven all his way all the way up to third, by the way, and Logano in fourth. Well, a little bit of contact between the 10 and 4. Those are teammates. Caution flag is out. Caution is out. And the top few cars are the 10 of Amarola, above the 4, 19, 22, and the 1 car of Kurt Busch, your All-Star Open winner. Suarez just running way too aggressive in this race. Gets into the 14 car of Clint Boyer. Turns him around into the 2 in front of the field. Then Tyler Reddick plows in. The 12 car, the 99, Quinn Half gets involved. The 41 and the 21. A very large incident down the front straight, and the 12 car actually got turned upside down in an impact with De Benedetto. Here's a little better angle of Blaney's flip. It's like De Benedetto had Arca breaks. And I need to point out that at the expense of others, the double zero car of Daniel Suarez has moved his way up into 11th position. So we have a couple cars out of the race, including Christopher Bell, Cole Custer, Quinn Half, who will finish in dead last, and Matt DiBenedetto. And believe it or not, the one guy who actually made it through the wreck without any damage is road course ace Jan Magnussen in the 33. Denny Hamlin has a problem. He's actually pulled onto the apron under caution. If I had to take a guess, he probably ran over some debris from the incident and cut a tire. Well, it was actually something much more critical on Denny Hamlin's car. It was a suspension component that had failed on the 11, and they have actually put the 11 car behind the wall and called it a day. And because of that big incident and a whole lot of cars dropping out, we're really down only 10 cars without damage. And to add to the list of those who dropped out from the crash, Ryan Blaney and Clint Boyer are officially out of the race. Green flag. Almirola did not get a very good restart above Kevin Harvick as Harvick sends it into turn one on the bottom. Bull sitter Harvick will retake the lead as they exit turn number two. Martin Truex Jr. with a run coming on the inside. Truex will take up second. We saw these two Truex and Harvick battle an awful lot last season for the regular season championship with Truex ultimately taking it at Daytona. How much will they battle for $1 million on the line? Amarola just got stuck up on the high side. He's actually fallen all the way down to around 7th position with the Bush brothers getting around him. Chris Busher has moved his way back up into 4th. In fact, he just moved the 22 car up off the bottom trying to take 3rd spot. Ross Chastain with a big run coming on the 17. I think he'll be able to follow that 17 past the 22. Yep, and Chastain has just taken up fourth with your open winner, Kurt Busch, in the fifth. Chastain now taking a look on the bottom of the 17 with the 55 moving up into third. Busch are lo losing about three or four spots as they exit turn number four. Well, the four and 19 cars are starting to put quite a bit of time above that 55 car in third spot. In fact, third position Chastain is a second and a half behind race leader Kevin Harvick. Obviously, though, these top two drivers, Harvick and Truex, can't bank on their lead as there is going to be another caution on lap 46, setting up that 10-lap dash to the finish as the 22 
takes fourth spot off Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is actually fighting back on the top side as the sixth car of Ryan Newman sends him three wide. Newman with a very aggressive move on the bottom has just taken up fourth with Suarez moving into fifth. Now Logano back to the inside of Daniel Suarez. Those two battling for fifth position as Suarez carrying just a little bit more momentum off the top side as they exit turn two and will re-clear the 22. Look at this a little bit of three wide action near the back. Back down to two wide as Kyle Busch backed out of the situation. That's actually the battle for eighth position between Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch. Kevin Harvick still holding a relatively stagnant four-tenth of a second lead above Martin Truex Jr. As they continue to gap themselves above third spot, Chastain, who is now back by two seconds behind race leader Harvick. Here comes Kyle Busch back to the inside of his brother. As Kyle will take up seventh spot. A little bit of bump drafting going on between Daniel Suarez and Ryan Newman down the back straightaway. Giving them a bit of the bumper. Actually clipped him a little bit, but Newman's still holding the position. And we know Ryan Newman. He is incredibly difficult to pass. And out of turn four, Kevin Harvick will take the white flag in segment two. He has almost a half second separation between himself and second spot, Martin Truex Jr. So Kevin Harvick will win segment two in a dominating fashion above Martin Truex Jr. Third spot taken by Ross Chastain, then fourth, Ryan Newman. And fifth, Daniel Suarez. NASCAR on Speed Station is being brought to you by Built by Me Chassis and Engine Parts. By Smeaty, the real canned meat paste. And by Starting Park, the official motel brand of NASCAR. So it looks like nobody is hitting pit road except Chase Briscoe, who has quite a bit of crash damage from the previous incident. They did not pit during that segment for the fear of falling one lap down. Chase Briscoe just got out of his pits, and he did not lose a single position coming down pit road as he was already in last, which is 13th position. It does make you wonder, though, if his car handles good enough to get a couple spots out of those fresh tires. And there's the green flag, just 10 laps to go in the All-Star Race. Kevin Harvick trying to hang on and capture his third career All-Star Race win, while Martin Truex Jr. trying to take his first. Ross Chastain right on Truex's bumper as they exit turn two. Chastain making a look on the inside. They battle side by side for position as Ross Chastain will take up second, but Newman going three wide for second spot. Chastain held at the line, but let's see how good Newman's car can hold the bottom. And Ryan Newman takes up second position. Now he's got his sights set on Kevin Harvick, who was able to put about a half second gap above second position because of all that battling. Chastain making a move on the inside of Newman. 55 car of Chastain takes second position back off the six as they exit turn two. This is doing wonders for Kevin Harvick's lead. As Martin Truex Jr. will now take up third off Newman. And by the way, the fresh rubber is kind of working on Chase Briscoe as he's moved up to 12th, passing the damaged car of Brad Keselowski, now hounding his teammate of Magnuson. Brian Newman just fell down to fifth with Amarola taking up fourth. Newman's still riding the back bumper though of the 10 cars they exited turn two. The 19 car of Martin Shrex Jr. is right on the back bumper of the 55 as well. Oh, they made contact. Chastain still holding the spot with Harvick still gapping second position. The separation is almost seven tenths with just five laps to go. Ryan Newman back on the inside of Eric Amarola. Looks like Newman will take up fourth as they enter turn three. Right now, it doesn't much look like anybody's got anything for Harvick. And it does somewhat look like the 19 car is a little bit quicker than Chastain, but he just can't find his way around him. The gap between first and second that lap was 0.72 seconds. Every time Truex gets a run, the 55 pulls an aggressive block as they enter the corner. 
Now the 19 back on the inside of the 55. They almost made contact down the back straight, but still doesn't have a good enough run to get on the inside of Chastain. And Kevin Harvick will take the white flag for the all-star race. And still Martin Truex Jr. cannot get around Chastain as Kevin Harvick coming off turn four to win his third career all-star race at Charlotte. Let's just point out that after all the trials and tribulations Daniel Suarez went through, he actually pulled together and finished fourth. That's not half bad for being involved in three wrecks. And let's also mention that Chase Briscoe's pit strategy worked a little bit as he finishes in 11th instead of 13th. Kevin Harvick takes his third career all-star victory above Ross Chastain, a driver who's never even been in an all-star race before. Martin Truex Jr. in third, Daniel Suarez in fourth, Kyle Busch fifth, Ryan Newman sixth, Eric Amarola in seventh, Kurt Busch the open winner in eighth, Chris Buescher in ninth, and Joey Logano round out the top ten. And the next race on Speed Station is not related to the Coca-Cola 600. We are actually covering the Indianapolis 500 this year, the first time that we've ever covered something not related to stock car auto racing. And you can catch it all right here on the Speed Station. Okay.